Yo, what's up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome to Dom's Media Zone. In today's video, it's a quick and easy tutorial on how to use Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4 to remove spots on someone's face. So if you've taken a photo of a subject or a model or even your own self-portrait like I'm going to be using in this example, I'll show you a quick and easy way to use Canon's DPP-4 to remove those unwanted spots on your face to basically just make your photo look a bit smoother and nicer and maybe take a few years off your appearance if that's what you want. So if this is something that interests you, stay tuned and enjoy. Hey, welcome everyone to today's quick tutorial on Canon's Digital Photo Professional 4 and today I'm going to show you how you can remove spots or marks on your face or on the face of a subject that you photographed if they've got some marks or pimples or moles or something that you want to remove from the face I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do that using DPP-4. So I've got a photo of myself because I didn't have any other model with marks on their face so I'm just going to use my own face for this demonstration. So I'm going to click on edit image and you want to find this tab over here which is the remove dust from images or apply as stamp. Go ahead and click on it and you'll see there's a little sign over here this means the photo's loading so you do have to wait for this to finish loading before you can begin. Now that it's loaded you can see we've got a couple of different options here. We've got something called repair light and we've got something called repair dark. So repair dark would be used if you've got dark spots such as moles or spots like this. You can then use this to repair the dark areas and repair light would be used to repair things that are light like for example I've got some light shining on my nose here I might want to remove that and because the light is very whitish and light I would use repair light to get rid of that. Now we've also got an option to select a copy source so this is if these two functions don't work on removing something we can always copy from somewhere else in the image and camouflage with that. I'll show you how that works in a moment and over here we've got I always use the brush that's kind of like a softer option but you've got something called a pencil but that makes a really hard adjustment and it doesn't blend it in well so I recommend using the brush in that case like this. Then down here you've got something called the radius so over here if I say select dark you'll see on the screen you've got the radius which is the size of the mark that we're going to repair so this is as big as it gets is at 100 and it looks pretty small to be honest but this photo is very high res but you can make it smaller if you wanted to but then it becomes tiny. So the first thing you want to do is zoom in on the subject so let's say I zoom in by 25% just so I can see all the spots a bit better and as you can see now that we've zoomed in I've got quite a few of these little spots on my face so I'm going to select repair dark make my brush maybe a little bit smaller because we've zoomed in now and you can go ahead and start clicking on your spots so as you can see just by clicking on them because we've got repair dark selected it removes the spots from your photos so if I remove that remove that remove that now a cool little trick is if you make the brush a little bit bigger let's make it 100 you can kind of cover bigger areas and it still works it removes the spots really nicely just by using that like sometimes it doesn't know what to remove so if you need to undo something there's a button here to undo one of the things you've done to undo all of them you'd click over here so to undo that and then let's try this one does it work on this see it doesn't work on all of them so for that we'll use select copy source so over here can I remove that? That got removed. That's good. Yeah, but my eye a bit. See, just by removing these, your photo already, I look 10 years younger. There we go. Remove the spots. So you get the picture. You can just kind of scroll down through your photo, see where you've got these marks and remove it to give yourself a better looking skin, especially if you want to use this photo for something professional or your social media, you might want to go ahead and do that. There we go. So I'm removing all the spots here. And there we go, that looks all right. There we go, quick and easy. Now, over here, let's say it didn't do such a good job, so you can just kind of click it again until it picks it up. And there we go, that looks pretty good. And then over here on my nose, like I mentioned, I've got some light over there. Say I don't want this light, I'm gonna click repair light. And as you can see, the cursor is now red to symbolize that we're repairing the light ones. And I'm gonna make the brush a bit smaller. And there we go click on it a few times it took away all the light parts if you've got light somewhere with shining and you don't want it you can do that now let's say I can see in my eyes the reflection of the lamp let's say for example I did not want that I'm going to zoom in quite a bit let's zoom in on my eye and there we go let's see if I can just remove this so if I go and make this brush a little bit smaller 
to the size of that light reflection. And if I click on that, there we go. Will it do this one? Yeah, it will do that one. Can we do the other one as well? Let's try. Doesn't work great all the time. There we go. But as you can see, it's left this tiny little thing, but I don't think you'll be able to see much of that later on. So there we go. Let's just take out this one first because it's the right size already. And then if we make the brush a little bit smaller and it's got to kind of be in the middle, otherwise it doesn't work very well. So it's got to have an area to copy from around it. So if you find that it's too small, it might not do such a good job. There we go. It kind of messed this part up a little bit. So you could try fix it by doing it again, clicking a few times. And now if we zoom out again, you can see the light is gone from the eyes. I mean, I don't know if this looks better or worse, but probably worse, but that's just an example I was using to show you what the repair light does. So now that we've done that, let's say we zoom in one more time, let's say 25%. And now because it didn't do such a good job removing this part over here, I'm going to use select copy source. So if I click on select copy source, and what this will do, it will give me this little crosshair and I can choose where I want to copy from. So say, for example, I find an area that's clear next to this and I click my left mouse button once I can then go ahead and start covering it up. And what that does is it copies from the left hand side. Should probably make this brush a bit bigger. Let's undo that. Let's make the brush maybe a little bit bigger, something like that. Yeah, there we go. Select copy source and click where you want to copy from and then just drag to where you want to copy to. Doesn't always work out as you can see the skin color is a little bit different there. So you might need to undo a few times and maybe copy from the other side. See which one looks better. That looks all right. It covered up the mark. It's not bad at all. And there we go. You can see that fixed over there. So now if I just zoom out and if I go back into my basic image adjustment tab, I can do a before and after. And as you can see, this is the original image. It had much more spots and in the new image, it took out all the spots. Now I must say, I prefer the eyes, how they were in the image on the left with the lamp reflection. So just be careful what you're editing, how you're changing it, because you don't want to make your photo look too unnatural as well, like we did in this case. But that's how you would use that tool to remove spots from a person's face and fix up all the marks. Thank you very much for watching. That's all I got for this video. I hope it helps you out and I hope you learned something new. As usual, do give me a thumbs up and do subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm going to try to release many more videos to come in the future. So as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe, take care and goodbye.